Now, was that not super epic? So I decided to listen to one of my subscribers in uh, my old videos. They suggested I make a carrier in what better way than to make a carrier for the infamous Tundari Galactic Empire. Super cool ship, if I do say so myself. This looks immaculate. So, in uh, the Chonk Army Doctrine, this is a cruiser class carrier. So, it is, I believe it is 65 blocks long, allowing me to use 20 gun mounts. And this ship is armed to the teeth i didn't really show it in the cinematic but uh i'll show it in uh this little mode but as you can see there's a vast difference in size comparison compared to my frigates but you can get a real scale uh, on how big this ship is not it doesn't look too big because i do make my uh frigates fairly uh tall and uh, long but I believe it's the max block length for my frigates in the chalk doctrine. That's uh, the classification. So I believe my frigates are 45 blocks long. And then this specific cruiser, this carrier is 65, as I said, and it is armed to the teeth. It's got four uh, single barrel cannons like the frigate, but it has these beautifully mounted, might I add, dual barrel cannons, and it has four of them on these kind of wing structures, but they're usually, they're more of a gun mount area and a thruster kind of component. And the style, I wanted to keep somewhat the same, but I really like this idea of having a hanger that goes just straight through the ship. And it's hard to keep that style with this, well, the frigate, as you can see, it would be hard to implement that same kind of idea with just a single column. So I decided to have just kind of two thruster components, having the middle open for hanger space and having this kind of like bottom area, like this little ramp, as you saw in that little cinematic to house any kind of ground vehicle. Additionally, you could add fighters into that little area. The one thing that I forgot to add is a jump drive, which I will be adding soon. Uh, but because of the mods, I really wanted to have those shield generators. So it's got two large shield generators maxed out with all of its components. So uh, this ship can definitely take a beating. So I kind of wanted to show you a little bit of the tour of the ship, just to give you guys an idea of like uh, what its main role is and how it kind of functions in an actual realistic scenario. So the first part I want to show is this beautiful hangar which goes all the way through the ship so you start from the rear so you can enter the hangar bay through the rear or you should directed through these awesome lcd panels um they're just like uh up arrow brackets so uh just three of them i spaced it out perfectly so it's in the center and then you can go through here and i have the sensor block actually i might as well show you with a ship so if we take this fighter and we just kind of fly through into here obviously you can actually fly through well not the door but you can fly through the hangar bay with your wings uh open but you can close those up so you have a slimmer sleek design and then if we just kind of come up to here it should sense the ship yeah, and then it starts to open. But once you get inside, you'll notice that this first section doesn't have any of these like checkered pattern, but the rest of the hangar bay does. And that is solely because if we just get out, we can open the bay doors. And these bay doors will open up. This one's having a little bit of trouble. That's okay. Uh, it's probably just rubbing up against that block. That's fine. Um, but it opens up these little bay doors and then you take your fighters and you can land them down here with all the other reapers into these connectors. Now you'll notice that the, it only has five connectors. So you may think to yourself, oh, well this ship can only hold five fighters. You are wrong. Additionally, you could keep these fighters in kind of stationary mode or as like a backup and then just close the bay doors and just close the bay doors. Just close them. I promise you, it wasn't having troubles before. And you could have fighters just parked on each of these pads. So that would be five above, five below. And then additionally, if you wanted, you could have another one there 
another one back here for a total of 12 fighters. Now, this part is a little exposed because it was hard to hide all of the components inside. You can't actually, unlike the Tandarian frigate, you can't get in and get to all the components, but luckily they have welders in integrated into the ship. So the welders will turn on, repair any systems like the reactor, gyroscopes, and uh, even the shield generator that is on the opposite side. But this is the area where you can hold ground vehicles. And thankfully, I made it big enough so that my crawlers could fit inside of the Tadarian's APC or the other tank variants you may have seen in other cinematics. They can also fit in here. And you can access the ramp right here. The ramp will come down on this perfect degree angle. So it lines up with this magnetic plate right here. And then, I don't know if you saw it in the cinematic, but these come down on pistons to be level with those magnetic plates. Now, if you're in this lower part of the hangar bay, you can actually just walk up this catwalk, go through this door or airlock, open that up, and it's all airtight. And then you can come into this part. And this part is actually the wing where above is, and below, you may say this is kind of a weird block. It's because this entire block is the double barrel cannon. So you're just walking in between these two double barrel cannons. And if you come over here, this is the airlock that connects up and you're on the outside of the wing. Now, if we come back into this little airlock section, you will notice there's some lockers so you can change. And then if we come upstairs to this section, we already came from there. That was the bottom part of the hangar. And we go all the way up. This is kind of like the living quarters, not not living quarters, but kind of just uh, an area where you can look around and uh, you know see the ship. You can see these beautiful guns, or you could look inside. You can see the fighters uh, getting ready to land or fighters coming in, have a little bit of coffee, sit down, talk to your crewmates or your other pilots. And we come over to this sign and we can go up straight to the bridge. I would have ladders, but I think we all know that the ladders in Space Engineers are pretty buggy. So I just have these simple tubes with a door that comes up here. You can close that and it's a perfect floor. And we are now in the bridge and it's the exact same, mirrored on the same side. Uh, this is the bridge with its own airlock on the back with this cute little balcony. Don't really need this balcony, but it just makes it easier to like land on it when you want to just like quickly have access to the bridge. And then one cool feature I wanted to have in the aircraft carrier or some sort of carrier that I've ever designed. I like having kind of like this uh, visible section that you can see into the hangar. So that is what this door is. You can actually close this and because this is fairly easy to blow up and you know it's just all glass so I like to keep that airtight or sectioned off from the actual bridge so you can look around you can see outside in the space or when you sit in the seat so you can look up see the space but you can also look around and you can see all of the hangar doors open so you can see the oncoming fighters this is kind of like your air traffic control seat but it gives you this great view of the entire hangar bay and I love that you can even like stand on here and look behind if you really wanted to. But that's the, basically the meat and guts of this ship. So let's show you the firepower of this bad boy. All right, so this is the just the freighter that I have. Uh, I forgot to turn off my guns on the cruiser, but you can see already it's taking great shots on this poor freighter. Just slowly blowing away each piece. And I believe these are the double barrel cannons on the bottom that are shooting. Yeah, slowly blowing away that target. So you'll notice that I also have the missile salvo, which is basically like a little nuke launcher in the midsection. I don't know if you can see that. It's right behind the single fire cannons. Um, so I'm just gonna, well, I'll save that for the end because they do a lot of damage. But on the very back where the thrusters are, I have three on each side, flechette launchers. Now, I wanted to have them pointing out on the side because this looks so cool when you shoot it. But these flechette launchers have a locking system. So we'll just target that ship and then I will click to fire. Look at that. And you'll see them, they'll target and then come towards the ship. 
Oh, and they do do a lot of damage, but just being able to have them and shoot them as a last resort or just having that extra bit of fire, just, oh, it's just so cool. Even if it doesn't do a lot of damage. Look at that. Imagine seeing that coming at you. And they all target. And I can keep shooting them. So it's kind of like a faster fire rate missile salvo. I believe it has three shots. So I can go one, two, three. Yeah, like that. And they all come in. Oh. Oh, I love that. Just that little popping sound. So if we turn those off and I go to the big boys. So I have two of these salvo launchers. We'll just shoot them. Oh, yeah. Now this is basically gone. As you can see. So, no shields on this freighter. This is just a basic freighter, but completely destroyed, as you can tell. Look, there's nothing to target anymore because the ship systems are offline. And of course, this ship wouldn't be a ship if it didn't have any protection. So it's got these Guardian guns. Um, it's got four of them. Basically one on each kind of corner. So they're like the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right just to give it that little bit of protection. If it had oncoming missiles or if there was fighters, but it has its own fighter complement to deal with other fighters. But that's all I have for today. This has been the Tundarian Galactic Empire's monitor class cruiser carrier. Then I really hope you enjoyed. And if you like this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, Stay beautiful, stay lovely, stay creative, my chalk soldiers. I'll see you in the next one. But most importantly, stay chalk. Your Lord Chonkers himself. <laughs>